Hey guys. Hey y'all, it's Val. Um, I wanted to fill you guys in on a few things that have been going on here. And where we are headed, we had our account, um, our Instagram account hacked this week. And it was actually the very last day of what was supposed to be the end of pre-orders. So honestly, one of our biggest sale days of the year. Um, and we were not able to communicate anything with you guys. Um, we definitely felt it and that's okay. We're not too worried about sales necessarily, but um, it was just, we're very, or I know I am super bummed at the idea of losing all of the content that we have shared on Instagram through the last, I don't know how long, years about prayer all the highlights, all the things that we have shared, tagged, linked to that our website that are not going to work anymore. Um, it's just very disheartening to think about. Um, the Lord has brought so much peace to me, though, in this time. Normally, something like this would definitely stress me out and make me feel um, frazzled and discouraged and um just like this was a total slap in the like just defeated in all this um but instead the lord has just reminded me that um he is faithful and a lot of you guys know we prayed we have been praying for a hundred thousand copies to be sold of pray confidently and consistently which comes out in october um we know that's not going to be like that's our prayer is not that that happens by launch but just that that would happen over time and that is a huge, huge number for somebody with my size audience and um, connections and everything like that. Um, but the Lord in this process, I feel like lately has been asking me, are you praying for 100,000 copies or are you working as unto 100,000 copies? And this has really given me space to pause and to um, make sure that this is not, that I'm not feeling like, well, we've prayed about this, so now I gotta hurry up and do all these things. Um, and this is honestly just a, a humble reminder, you know, I feel like Gideon right now, and I don't, I don't like comparing myself to Bibles and characters, people in the Bible, because I think you can't just go around doing that all the time acting like we're, we're Job because we go through a hard season or we're Moses because we have to lead a bunch of people um, through something crazy. But the story of Gideon is that um, he is a um, leader in an army and the Lord basically pulls, sifts the army and he has, I think he ends up with only 300 men by the end before they go to war or have the battle. And um, he just keeps taking men away. And it is to show that the Lord is the one who fought for them and to show the impossibility that 300 men could fight however many, the thousands that it was. Um, so I feel like that a little bit right now. Just that the Lord, I'm not saying, I have no idea what's going to happen with the books, um, how many will sell. Um, but I do feel like, the Lord is humbling me and um, using this as a way to sh to bring glory to himself and not to us, not to our strategy or our Instagram following or everything like that. Um, so although this stinks and we have to figure out what to do now, um, I am not, I have not lost hope because my hope is not an in Instagram. Um, and we, we do have a few thoughts on what to do next and I'll just share them here. Um, we have, most of you guys know, I got off of Instagram personally in February. We still have like a team account for Valmary paper. So we'll probably shift that over to that account. So if you've been following for Val Warner, um, if you're still over there, you'll see posts for Valmarie paper now. Um, but that's what we'll probably do. But I'll be honest, we I feel like a girl who just got um, 
had a really bad boyfriend, treated badly by a boyfriend, and I'm not putting much stock, trust, or anything into that bad boyfriend, which is not Instagram, but getting hacked, we just don't want to put a lot of eggs in that basket. So we are probably going to be a lot more present on YouTube or in our newsletter. If you are not signed up for a newsletter already, do that. Um, that's where we will be. Um, and, and yeah, we'll be popping in on uh, YouTube as well. If we're sharing longer form content, like we lost a ton of content um, in those highlights. So we'll probably be sharing them in more in forms that we know we can't lose quite so quickly like that. Um, but anyway, I am going to just pray because, um, like I said, I am... I'm just, with everything that has happened this year, all the hardships personally with our team for Valmarie Paper, the silly obstacles that we've had, I am all the more expectant for what the Lord is going to do. The fact that this happened on the last, last day of our launch, um, it, it is, I, and I'm, I'm like really tired of giving the devil too much credit on this. Like God is so much bigger, bigger than him. He could, he is so much bigger. And you will hear that in my prayer in a second because I've got words for the enemy too, but hey, giving him too much credit, but it's hard to not think, okay, we have people who are going to buy a journal on prayer you know, and those ones that come in right at the end, you know, they were the ones on the fence, not sure if they were going to do it, really curious about it. And then they jump in at the last minute, that last 12 hours. We have tons of you guys who do that. Those did not happen this year. And I can't help but think that the Lord has something amazing planned for 2020, 2022. For those of you guys who are going to be praying and with their journals or without, but I'm so hopeful for what the Lord is going to do through prayer next year. And that is, I think, one reason that I'm not discouraged is because I'm just thinking God is about to do something amazing and I cannot wait to see what it is. Uh, we would love your prayers. Pray with us. Be a part of this. I know like so many things it's hard to be a part of because of time commitments and restraints and everything like that. And you might have a busy schedule, but be a part of this. Be a part of praying for others to meet God in ways. And again, it doesn't have to be through our journals, but I truly believe that we are about to have a prayer awakening. We're going to understand that our prayers have been small and um focused on our own comforts. We're going to understand that we have been praying alone and kind of getting that down, but we have totally forgotten the power of praying with other people. Um, I was actually going through a lot of hard things a couple weeks ago, very discouraged to the point of just crying out to God on my stoop outside. Lord, I feel abandoned. I feel overwhelmed. I feel like you're not hearing me. And, um, I asked a few people to pray for me, and um, and they did. They sent me messages or voice messages if they if they don't live here. And then I ended up getting so I got a couple of those messages, and then I ended up getting to do. You guys know we have a new podcast coming on prayer. It's called it's going to be called Prayer in a Noisy World, and I got to pray with three people that I interviewed, and then I was on two different podcasts, and they prayed for me. And um, besides that, we had two different little meetups for praying for school. We got to walk through the campus, touch the doors, pray for the classrooms, pray for the kids, the administration. And then we had another one where we met off campus during school and prayed. And I got to pray with 10 different people, like in, in like nine different settings. I don't know exactly. And guys, the Lord completely transformed my heart through all of that. The way that I had felt days earlier, just anxious, overwhelmed, feeling like God was not hearing me, to going from that to praying constantly, praying without ceasing, 
letting my, the food I eat remind me to pray, seeing someone in the parking lot and being led to pray for them. Um, I, I just feel so overwhelmed that the Lord is teaching me the power of praying with other people. And that is something that you're going to hear a lot from us this fall. We have one of our pre-order bonuses for the book is going to be about this. That is going to be for people who I have no idea how to get a group of girls together to pray, but I want to, this is, it's going to be for you. But anyway, I'm going to pray real quick and I invite you guys to be a part of that, whether it's just praying with us or, um, utilizing the resources, the prayer journals, the books, whatever, but just praying with us. And I, I'm just going to start praying. Father God, I thank you so much for who you are, for how big you are, God. We know that you are victorious. You are mighty. You are good. You are God. Your plan will not be thwarted by the enemy. Your plan does not rest on Instagram. Your plan doesn't rest on a person. Your plan doesn't rest on anything like that, Lord. Your plan is yours, and you are mighty to do whatever you want to do, God. And that is beautiful, and it brings hope to me, God. Um, I just pray that you would be with us, Lord. I just pray that you would be with anyone watching this video. I pray that you would transform our hearts. You would give us a passion for you, God. I pray that you would give us a devotion to you. Help us to see how prayer real it, how real prayer is, and how important it is in our lives, Lord. Let us not be. Um, so distracted by the world that we are able to be easily convinced that prayer doesn't matter, that you don't hear us, that you don't care, God. But Lord, let us be convinced that you are who you say you are, God. This is a privilege. This is an honor that we get to pray to you, God. And I thank you for that. Lord, I pray the enemy would flee. I pray that he would know that he has no hope here. And I pray that he would regret even coming near us, God, because we will sing your praises louder than ever with every attempt he makes to put an obstacle in our way. He has no power. He has no power over us. Lord, our hope is in you. I pray, Father, that you would raise up our generation, that we would be prayers, God, that we would not just pray for the small things, Father, but that we would pray for the eternal things, God. Give us a heart for that, Lord. Help us to open our Bibles and know what that looks like. Because what does that even mean to pray for eternal things if we do not know your word? I pray that you would give us give us names. Give us um, a desire to pray with other people, Father. I pray that you would put people in our path that we would never think to pray with, God. I pray that you would give us a courage that it takes to to initiate something like this, Lord. And we pray you would do the work. You do the work, Lord. We pray we would make the step and then you go to town. You form a group. You form the conversations, God. Our confidence is not going to be in our strength to lead, Lord, but it's going to be in you. And Lord, let us be excited to see what you're going to do, God. Let us be expectant to see what you are capable of when we keep coming to you like you've called us to do. You have invited us over and over again in your word to pray, to pray without ceasing, to seek you for wisdom. Your word literally says that we do not have because we do not ask. So, Father, I pray that you would bring people to your throne room and that we would cry out to you that we would be honest with you and that we would be changed by the time that we spend in your presence, Lord. We know you can change our circumstances. We have seen it. We have seen it, or I know I have seen it in my life, Lord, but we know the power that you have to change us when we are in your presence is huge. Isaiah 26, three says that when we fix our eyes on you, you bring us perfect peace when we trust in you, God. Psalm 16, 11 says that it's in your presence that we experience the fullness of your joy, God. So we pray for that, Lord. We pray to be changed in your presence, God. We love you, and we pray that you would get all the glory from this, Lord. We pray, Father, 
that as the book comes out, that this would not be anything that points to man, that points to good words written or things that are said that, um, that can point to me or to anyone else, Lord. We just pray that you would get the glory for it, God. I thank you so much for the privilege that it is to get to do this, Lord. I love prayer. I love getting to encourage people like this, Lord. And I know that this is a gift from you. And I pray that I would honor you with that gift, that I would steward it well, God, and that you would get the glory. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so this is getting long, but thank you for watching. Um, I don't know why I just felt like I needed to just make a video um, about all of this, just the feelings of where do we go from here? What do we do? Um, how much stock do we put in Instagram? And I know this might all sound silly, but I take, I take what I do seriously. And, you know, God can do this without me. And that is humbling. And it also reminds me of what a privilege it is to get to do, do this. That this is not a burden I carry, but this is a privilege that I carry. So I'm thankful to do this. And hopefully you guys will see me in pep talks um, on our newsletter and um, on YouTube and different places besides Instagram, to be honest. But um, thank you so much for listening and um, you guys have a great day.